This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Alkane and today I'm doing a little bit of this uh, because I received these for this fantastic figure. And honestly, I don't know yet if this one or Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus is going to be my top figure of 2023. It's very, very, very close. Like it's right now, I don't know. This one is, I love this one. The engineering on this one, I love it. But Studio Series 86 Magnus, it's, I love it as well, like very much. So, you know, maybe um, there is going to be a tie, you know, and you just can't vote for the bigger one because it's just not fair. So yeah, but today he's going to get toy hacks because all of my season one Autobots are toy, are toy hacks so far. And of course, I'm missing a current wind charger and a, um, what's the other one, Gears, yeah. So hopefully we're gonna get that by the end of 2024. That'd be nice. So anyway, before uh, you check out the review, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Alright, so quick look at Braun before the decals. I love this bot. The paint, I mean, it's basically Transformer Man at Arms. That's been pointing out, pointed out a couple of times now online uh, that uh, that's pretty much what he is. You know, the same uh, type of helmet, uh, you know, with the orange and uh, green. Well, this one is more of a brownish. Like in the movie, it wasn't really green, it was brownish. That's what they went for. I'm gonna call it, again, there's gonna be a Buzzworthy Bumblebee Studio Series 86 green toy color version of this figure. Like they did with uh, Cliff Jumper, they had the toy version in Earthrise and the you know cartoon version in Buzzworthy. Same thing with Cup. This is gonna be the reverse. I'm guessing this is gonna be a Buzz... Uh, on top of the Outback repaint, the retool, it's gonna be a Studio Series 86 uh, toy color wrong so that's my goal but he looks good i mean the uh, the helmet the face sculpt the eyes uh, the autobot logo uh, all the details on the uh, the shins where the knees uh, the arms i mean it all fits the cartoon look a little bit of you know kibble on this guy but not too bad you know and the back still cleans up really good even if you have the uh, all the wheels here but from the front looks pretty good so yeah, uh, so now let's uh, well, well let's take a look at what I'm going to apply. Come on. Alright, sorry, sorry I had to edit that out. My dad gave me a call while I was filming. So for decals we have windows. Um, they're not the the blue chrome that I we've got uh, recently. They're not the cell shaded. This is uh, something new. I really miss the cell shaded stuff that they did. That was really fun. Uh, you have some uh, gray decal, not too sure where that's going to go. And you have all these details here, um, so that's that's cool. Um, fuel tanks, I think. Uh, yeah, no, definitely I'm going to enjoy this set. And uh, big Godobot logos and stuff, yeah. This will be fun. Alright, so final look at Braun in robot mode before. Okay, little buddy. You feel tough enough for another go round? All right, so here we are with Braun after the application of the decals, and he looks really good. I really have a, uh, a, a fondness for this figure, and now he looks even more uh, dashing. Let's yeah, let's uh, let's say dashing. So what you get is nothing for the gun, uh, but you do have a decal here on the forearms and this to cover the uh, wrist joint. And then you have a, a little uh, decal here and one on the shoulder. You have a new grill with the Autobot logo. That's a two-parter. And then you have a little enhancement here. Plus you have the four dots here that are now highlighted. Plus one that goes over the whole thing. On the head, 
uh, you can see the uh, three new decals to give a uh, different tone to the helmet. And then in the back, you have one, two, three decals, plus two little ones for the, uh, I don't know, pins. Uh, pin covers here uh, on the tie. And then you have two decals on uh, the lower ties, plus you have these two decals here on the shin. Uh, nothing on the sides. Uh, you do have a whole lot of pin cover here, uh, plus uh, six on the back, so it covers the legs quite nicely. And then you have uh, decals here, uh, pin covers for that. And then this side here, I had a couple extras, so I was able to do one side. So that's pretty much it. I always say that and then I always miss one. So, oh yeah, there's one for the crotch right here. So there you go. Final look at Braun after the decals. The steel stealers are long gone. Oh, hexagonal nuts. We better roll back to headquarters and report. And here we are with Braun in alt mode before the decals. And I love this truck. I mean, I do wish he was maybe a little greener, but can deny. I mean, I like those windows already, but uh, the toy hack stuff looks good. And you have the nice grill in front, all the details. And the back. I know we're getting some uh, new decals for that, so that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I can't complain. I love, and I just transformed them, and I adored it. It's so fun. So, again, might be my figure of 2023. I really like the engineering on this one. So there you go. Final look at Braun before the Toy Hacks decals. Wrong again, you dipstick tape deck. And now in alt mode, and now in alt mode, he looks even better. I love this uh, G1-esque decal here. Uh, you know, I had the, this toy as a kid and um, I remember this symbol, so that's pretty cool. Love the windows. Uh, they line up perfectly, all of them. Uh, so that's cool, you know, and uh, the, uh, I, you know, do wish it was the uh, cell shaded. Oh, I kind of misaligned it here, or maybe it just didn't stick properly. It happens. And, uh, but he looks good. And now you have something in the back, because, you know, the back wasn't painted and all these were, so kind of weird. Uh, you have a little enhancement here, here, and here. Uh, you have this that translate from the leg. And then you have uh, these uh, decals on top. Uh, and then all these here. Uh, the plate is Corey Burton. You had uh, also Braun, which I put in the back. And then you have the big X. And then you had another option that I couldn't make out. It was just too small and compact and I don't know. But I like the look of this guy. And with the gun, I can't wait for Outback, you know, really? I, that's gonna be fun. So there you go, final look at Braun after the uh, the decals, he looks really good and he's still a contender for top figure of 2023. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this review, if you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, love reading those, keep coming back, I have more on the way and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!